Hi, my name is Alexander Mette. I'm on the internet and especially in the Tiki community. I'm known as Ahmed. And uh, the Tiki community is what I want to show you. The basic places where you can go to get into it, to get working with it and perhaps even collaborating with us, which would be really great. So let's have a look at the necessary websites for that job. When you enter tikiwiki.org into, uh, into your browser, you at first get to info.tikiwiki.org, which is uh, the, the main entrance point where you are welcomed and uh, get something to know about TikiWiki and you immediately can download the software. Uh, this is more just like the first uh, information page for all the people. The, the really interesting page is uh, the TikiWiki.org community page. This is where, where basically all the community action goes on, where Tiki Fests are planned, where users help each other. You can, for example, see down here, I'm now logged in. The page will look differently when you log in. I just uh, set my own style sheet. Um, the forums are a very good uh, starting point for you if you need any help, if you have to ask questions or if you want to help other users. There are many different forums, basically about TikiWikiOrg, development, documentation and so on. Then the next uh, important page is uh, the DocTWO, which is uh, where the documentation for TikiWiki is collaboratively written. In the TikiWiki software itself, we call it eating our own dog food. We're dog fooding all the time. And we have um, on the DocTWO site lots and lots of information about all the different features and uh, people are collaborating there. Um, on writing the documentation for all the other users. We have an ed editorial board there which, um, which discusses uh, how to uh, work further on the documentation. So you could join that as a first step if you can't code or anything like that, but you are interested in helping. If you're more of, if you're more of a coder type, then uh, the DevTWO is the site for you to go. It's the development, the TikiWiki developers area, which is also for you interesting as a user because we have uh, our bug tracker there. Like when you click on all bugs, you get uh, the list of everything that we have uh, so far identified as being a problem. This is again uh, dog fooding at its best as we use our own trackers for the, uh, for the bug tracking. So you see here like about 10 bucks being with a very high priority. Um, login not possible when certain admin options set. So we really need to fix that fast. It's 19x issue. Created 2008 -03. I think it should be fixed. Someone should look at it. Um, if you find an issue yourself, then you can right here, left upper corner, click on report a bug. And um, Actually, you need to be logged in for that. I forgot to tell you. Um, when you are on the, remember, tikiwiki.org, the main community website, get an account there. I'm right now logged in as I'm at, as you see here. Just get an account there and this account will work on all the other sites. That's essential. Um, with these credentials, you can really then log in on .tWO and write the documentation or fix any bugs and errors in the documentation. You can log into DevTWO and report bugs. You can work on them. As you see here, this is our bug report uh, form where you uh, put a summary, can assign a priority. Please don't set it to nine just to get it fixed. That's really counterproductive. Someone will then afterwards set it even lower. Um, then which bug type, regression, if it's a feature request, or if it is a community project, you can even file documentation bugs there which version is affected and uh, then which feature is affected. As you can see, we have lots and lots of them. Sometimes it's not easy to choose some. Just click on, on a couple of them that you think that fit. Someone will later on clean it up. When you want to get into coding, you will also find uh, CVS tips, developer tips and so on. The three rules are the major thing. 
you should know if you want to contribute, be it documentation, be it anything. The three rules are really just the, the central thing that organizes our community. You should really read them. And if you want to join, if you have a SourceForge account, you can join anytime. Just come on IRC, which is the Internet Relay Chat, and uh, we will be happy to help you and um, to give you commit access to our project.